I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to share your designs in Canva. Now there are two ways to do this, one from the main Canva page and two within the actual design itself. So we're starting from main Canva and you'll notice I'm not on the Canva dashboard that you're redirected to once you log in. I'm actually under a folder that I made for my templates, but doesn't matter, the gist of it's still the same. So what you're gonna do is you are going to hover over your design and you're gonna click that dot, dot, dot. And there are two options here. If you click the first one, which is share, this window pops up. And if you enter in someone's email, they will be emailed, they'll click a button and they will automatically get access to your design. Note that this is giving them access to edit your design. So down here, the other method is to click copy link and the link is copied to your clipboard. So if you were to write out an actual email to someone, you could paste that link in the email, you could text it to them and they would get access to edit. Now, if you don't want them to be able to edit, you just want them to view your design. Like let's say you just wanna get client approval, but you don't want them to be able to edit your design. You would click that down arrow and you would click here. Now on this design in particular, it's called share a link to watch. That's because this design has animated elements. And what that means, the best example is I use this a lot for my Instagram stories. If I wanna have text fly in and images disappear and be replaced, it's considered an animation. So instead of sharing the file for someone to view, you want them to be able to watch the animation through. And I will be adding a tutorial later on how to create an animated Instagram story. So stay tuned for that. Now, if your template does not have, if your design does not have any animations, how it's going to look is you would click, come on, the dot, 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 you would click share and you'll notice it's link to view. So this will either be view or watch depending on your file. Now, the other thing you can do is share a link to use as a template. Now, what this does is it allows the person, it allows you to share this with many people without altering your original file. So for example, I create Canva templates that I share with you, with the world, but I don't want people to be accessing them and then changing my original file and then with each person who accesses it everybody would be working on the same canva file instead by sharing a link to use as a template whenever somebody clicks on that template it automatically creates a copy of the design so they then have their own design file now, if you are on the receiving end of a Canva design or a template, I will be adding a tutorial next week on how to access a shared Canva file. I'll link to that down below when it's ready. Okay, so that is method number one from the main Canva dashboard or your folder. And the other method involves being on the actual file itself. So this is actually a template that I did create for e-newsletter sign-up sheets, you can access that at missmegabug.com slash freebies. Basically gives you a head start. And the, the template, this isn't actually the template, this is my file. The template is even easier than this. It doesn't have my actual stuff in it. It has little placeholders. Anyway, back to the main program. What you do from here is you click share in the upper right. And then again, you can either type in somebody's email and Canva will send them an email directly or you can copy a link to edit and send it to them. You can share a link to use as a template or you can just share a link to view. So that is how you share files in Canva. I hope it helped. If you'd like to learn even more about Canva, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. It's linked down below. I will see you in the next video.